for example, then they don't have the time to like check if, um, yeah, if, if you, if your line is good or not. But I definitely bluff a fair amount. Apparently, I've been playing D4 a bit in Blitz, but I don't really know what's going on. I just don't want to play the Sicilian. It's always like hard work. We're playing Mr. Gotham Chess. I don't know if we've, we've been paired in Title Tuesday, I think, last year once. Maybe once we've played on Title Tuesday. Maybe more. Title Tuesday's been going on for so many years now that... Um, probably played just about everybody at least once. But I can't say for sure. Is he trying to go Knight A6? Okay, we'll go A3. Yeah, that makes some sense. We'll go here. The problem, so knight a6 I've played before as well. It makes quite a bit of sense, but it doesn't defend against this very well. That's the one issue. Is how do you dislodge this? You don't have this like knight coming d7. Eh, it was good and bad. But I'm thinking about playing f4 to support the pieces. I guess I'm supposed to play this. Probably king h1, rook e1. Position seems comfortable, but... I, uh, I have to be weary. All right, I feel like a prophylactic move. Maybe reroute this. Yes, no. Yeah. Alrighty. G4 is very tempting, not gonna lie. I saw this move. I mean, the idea is after take, take, I might have some issues, but thought it'd be okay. My knight could get stuck on e5 if I were to capture. But here I thought I could put pressure on d5 and still uh, get some ideas in. Alrighty. That is definitely a move. Knight f5 is tempting. Taking the material is tempting. Takes, takes, takes. I think I can just take everything. And if f6, just play queen c6 or something. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not wrong there. Pawn takes, pawn takes, the queen gets hit. By the rook. I want to take on c4. Just trying to cramp the position. Queen here, I wonder if I should even take or I should just move out of the way. But I have some pressure, that's for sure. There's a few ideas.
Because I don't see a good move. I'm missing something. Takes here. We will uh, we'll go here. We'll try to take away some squares. Oh, I didn't see that. I can definitely say I did not see that. Am I getting my queen stuck? That would be a bit sad. What am I missing? Check. Discovered check. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that was good the whole way, but, uh, I hallucinated here. I was about to panic. I was like, if I go rook g1, I get checkmated after queen f3, but not quite. It was probably good the whole way. I think that was probably objectively a pretty good game by me, but in blitz, it always can get messy. Like rook here looks like a patient move. I could take here. Honestly, that's the one thing I probably regret. I should just take here and it's game over. But I thought taking these pawns, I would win all of them. Like taking here is just immediately game over and I should probably just do it. Queen takes here, doesn't do anything. I can take here, there's mate. I can push the pawn and make a queen. Like everything, absolutely everything wins. There's no checks. So the, the only move off the top of my head right now I'm regretting is it's still winning this is still a winning position but he takes f6 just yeah i mean yeah uh oh i missed something before did i miss a free queen i was just enjoying my space advantage i wasn't actually so if i missed the free queen was there some sort of knight Knight d7. After queen f8, I'd have. Was it knight d7 after queen f8? Yeah, because his knight moved from f6. Yeah. Look, we're not perfect. And that's probably why I'm single. I don't see free queens. Some people see the free queens out there, I don't. I have to work very hard for my, my ladies. Yeah, I mean, it's not a very hard tactic. And I, as soon as you said it, it's like, well, queen f8 makes sense. Amster, thank you for, uh, thanks, thanks for the sub. Kurtz, Mannered Monkey has a question. That's a that's a priority. Was there Bishop H7 check? Yeah, so originally I was always planning to play Bishop H7, but I said I didn't sleep, so I honestly am not calculating much. I, I, I just didn't sleep last night. And here I had already noticed. So I think Levy wanted to play Knight H5. And that loses, and I had seen Bishop H7. And it just loses on the spot. King h8, knight f7's checkmate. 
King f8, spot the tactic, knight takes f7, hitting the queen, recaptures, and now queen g6. I win my pawn back and I bust open the king. So I saw that, which is why queen e7 was played, I believe. And and here, Matter Monkey, who's a very, very strong player, suggests bishop h7 check, playing off of the pin. Bishop h7 check. If king here, similar ideas in the game, bishop g6. They don't have a way to defend f7 because I have two attackers. They can't take because of knight takes. And they take here. This is a temporary sacrifice that just crushes the position. So that looks good. If king here, same thing. And what's really nasty about the position. Oh, I, it's too late. But yeah, that looks like a very good line. So after bishop g6, after king h8. What happens after bishop e6? Is it just pawn f5? Was that your idea, Matter Monkey? Uh, Scamilton, thanks for the resub. It just looked cute, says Matter Monkey. Well, you look cute. Has anyone ever told you that? I'm playing the... Uh, who am I playing? Oh, Leandro Crisa. I played him in uh, Argentina. He's always from Argentina. But he played the Schleiman against me. Did I just win a chess award, by the way? What's Hickey going to say about me? Any any points? Any points on the board? Hey, Tranny. This is round four. This is an important game to play well because there's always a title Tuesday break after round four. So when you end off on a loss, you're just... Everyone's playing this against me. Sheesh. I don't know. I truly don't know. This is what like Alpha Zero played and now everyone plays it. Hey Thunder Mullet, I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So we want to attack this pawn, but not with the queen. He going head first with the queen is a good recipe to get your queen fucked. You're right, knight c4, bishop c4, queen c4, knight d5, and now my queen is trapped. So I need to use uh, the flanking pieces. But some people want to see their queens get fucked, so I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life in general. All right, we'll just double. Well, I don't have a lot of space, <laughs> that's for sure. If here, then I'll go e5. I haven't played too many of these positions, truth be told. Uh-huh. I will take... I'll go here. So pawn takes, bishop takes, queen here. I thought I could flee with my king, with uh, king f8. Flee like the Peruvian president, Fujimura. That guy was very good at fleeing. That's not a dad bod shuffle, that's a presidential shuffle. You guys know about him?
You know your Peruvian history? Are you cultured? No, I was just... No, it was just a random comment. Alright. I'm playing. That's me. If here, I want to go knight e4 and use a bishop. Put my bishop... Okay, this, this one I have to take. I think I have to take. That's, uh... That's forced. I have to give back some material. Queen here, I can even throw this move in and get even more material. But Rook takes feels the most natural. Alright, this is going to be a sharp game. But after Rook takes Queen here, I don't see the follow-up. Am I missing? Am I missing that? Ah, okay. That's a good move. We're gonna have to go here. Got five seconds, but with the queens on, chess is not easy. This is a loose pawn. That's absolutely a loose pawn. Which pawn am I okay with losing? That's a good question. Got five seconds, but I just don't know how to trade things off. Let's try this. I think this is winning. That's a funny win. It's like, I'm up a pawn, but there's a outside pass pawn, but my opponent has no moves. The knight is trapped by all of my pawns. This pawn can't move. So you're almost in zigzag. So now you can make a move. But I can just continue in that direction. King f3, right? Your knight still can't move, so you have to go here. Now I go here. Knight d3, your knight still can't move. Now you push. Now I go knight f4. Now you push because you have no other moves. Now I give a check. Doesn't matter where you go. And game over. No matter where you so and and that's only if I want to checkmate my opponent. Because here you could be like, instead of doing that, just king you too. Knight the knight's just been poached. So the final position is actually one of the nicer uh nicer finishing positions I think I've ever had in a title Tuesday. 
Every single, you know, piece has a role. And this night will never come into the game. Like, never, ever. That's a permanently boxed out night. What? So I spent a bunch of time here because I have to analyze, and this is where, you know, working on calculation, I can't calculate right now, but queen d5. And I'm like, I don't think that's winning, right? I'm up a pawn, but this knight can stop this pawn. And I have split pawn. So king here, g5, king here, knight e3, knight e3, pawn e3, king d3. But this is almost forcing. I, his king is just really fast in grabbing either of the pawns. So if I can't trade queens, what am I supposed to do? I can go here. Then there's queen b3, and it's similar in that the king is pretty fast compared to my king. So I actually think b5 was probably a nice move to correct my structure and create this wall. CM Roy, welcome back, 32 months. Shave Deer for three years. Alexander Scamilton for the 11 month, uh, 21 months. And Torani just tipped me. Thank you for the tip. I like tips. I like servicing viewers. Whatever I can do to make them happy. Did white not have any tricks with 94 instead of moving the knight back? All right, chat. Put your thinking helmet on. Why is 94 a bad chess move? That is a risky business spent a minute preparing. What's the issue with moving your knight to e4? If you're rated around 500, this is a question for you. If you're 500, 600, 200, three digits. Let's work on our chess rules. The knight on e4 is hanging. It can actually simply be captured as a free knight. There's no defenders and there's no useful checks. So it's a very poor move. However, if this queen was, this queen was here, then there might be perpetual, but that's that's drastically different. The black queen is well placed, yes. Skinner.